we are walking into the biggest used book sale in the southeast, at least according to their website. So don't blame me if they're lying, but I am so excited about this. You're at the entrance, duh. And you're at travel writing. Hello, and welcome to the book fair unboxing. Is it a book fair? I don't know, I think it's a book sale. But anyways, here we go. So one could say that I already had the intention of spending all my money when I took this giant suitcase with me to the book sale. One would say that is probably correct. Okay, so some of these books I've had on my wish list for a while and I just haven't gotten around to reading them from the library. Usually it's because Sometimes they're books that are going to take me a little bit longer to read through audiobook, and so I've just been postponing it. But anyways, so the first book that I'm really excited about that I was excited to find is The 4-Hour Workweek. And so this book is about how to escape that 9-to-5 job and kind of get your work schedule to work for you and not the other way around. And I think as an artist, that's something that I've always been very interested in, and I think a lot more of us are growing interested in that topic, so I'm excited to read this book, even though at this point it's quite old, but I think it's been on a few lists, so it's still pretty relevant. The next book I was excited to find is Migrations by Charlotte McConaughey. I don't know if I said her name right, but I'm actually super sad that I didn't find it with its dust jacket. Um, I'm surprised that I was actually able to recognize it just based on the title. But this book, I am so excited to read. I started reading it on audiobook, but then I had to send it back to the library and I didn't get to finish it, so I'm excited to own a copy. And it's about a girl who goes on a ship to follow a flock of birds that will probably be the last of their kind. And so it's really about Earth and what we're doing to our planet and how a lot of the animals that we know are going extinct and what our world would look like if a lot of those animals died and we were the only living creatures left on this planet. Um, so I'm really excited to read a book like that. I feel like it could be a little bit depressing, but it's also something that I constantly <laughs> worry about given the effects that we are seeing in our climate. And I'm excited to see that put into a work of fiction like this. The next book I'm excited to talk about is Blanca and Roja. Um, this is a YA fantasy book about two sisters who have a curse on them where one of the sisters will remain human and the other one will turn into a swan. And so apparently the sisters meet two boys uh, right before they are going to go through this transformation and that affects how they feel about this curse that's been placed on them and their family. So I'm excited to read this because I think there's not a ton of YA books where the relationship between sisters is explored. So I'm curious to see how this book will handle that. The next book I'm going to talk about is The Night Tiger by Sheng Shi Shu. I'm not sure if I said her name right, so hopefully I did. Um, and she's the author of The Ghost Ride, which I really like. And it's also a series on Netflix. So I was excited to find The Night Tiger. This one has been on my to read list since it came out some years ago. I just haven't been able to get to it, so I was really excited to get it. And it's about a young woman who must go on a journey 
because of some sort of supernatural thing that happens in her life and that journey leads her to interact with this young boy who is trying to find his master's missing finger. So I'm gonna guess that the young woman probably has that finger or knows how to get that finger. So there are gonna be some supernatural elements and it's about two people who really don't fit into society trying to find their own place in life. This next book is a graphic novel by Scott McCloud. And so this one I have been keeping in the back of my mind for quite a while now. And it is about a man who makes a deal with death that he will be able to sculpt anything that he wants, but in exchange he has limited days to live. So now he's coming upon the last year of life and he finds his true love and he has to deal with the ramifications of the decision that he made. The next book I'm excited to talk about is The Dark Days of Seat, and it's the last book in the trilogy by Alison Goodman. So the first book is The Dark Days Club, and the second book is The Dark Days Pact. And it's actually been a while since I read the first two, so I'm going to have to reread those and then reread -re this one, which I am so excited about because I remember loving those so much. And it's about a girl who discovers that there are monsters in her society and she has the ability to help defeat them. Of course, she has to get training by this super dark and moody, handsome guy. And they end up maybe kind of falling in love, but for reasons they cannot be together. And so this is the last book in that series. And it has romance, it has drama, and it's set in the Regency era. And I am just so excited to finally be able to read the conclusion. And that's it for fiction books. So then, of course, I had to take a stroll through the art book section, and I found this set of three books about Impressionism. So first, we have French Impressionists, which I have always loved the Impressionist movement. So of course, I was super excited to get this book. Um, it has color pictures inside of it. that are almost like, these are really big and they're nice quality and resolution. So I am so excited to use these for studies. The next book that came with this one was the French Salon Artist. And then this also has really large Images. And finally, we have to go into post impressionism. So I just really like that it came into this set of three and it deals with impressionism and it has gorgeous images and it's full color and glossy and I will definitely be using these for studies. So that was this set of three. This book is illustrations by Winslow Homer. And do I ha know who Winslow Homer is? I do not. But I was browsing through this section and I saw these beautiful illustrations and they're black and white full page line illustrations. And they are absolutely freaking gorgeous. So even though I have absolutely no idea who this person is, I am super excited that I now own this book because this art is so inspiring and I love the detail of the line work and the values. So that's Winslow Homer illustrations. Which brings me to the last items that I picked up. And these are not books, these are magazines, and I was so shocked to find these. But here we go. They are older Imagine FX magazines. So if you know Imagine FX, they're a fantasy and sci-fi 
magazine. And so they publish a lot of articles about tools that you can use and artists and people working in the fantasy and digital art industry. And they have beautiful, gorgeous, full page color spreads and just tutorials and advice. And I was so freaking excited that I found not one, but three of these Imagine FX magazines. So I am excited to read these and look through all the images and read all the tips. I'm always just so amazed that there are so many of these resources that we just don't know about, but they're out there in the world. And I am so happy when they kind of present themselves and just drop straight into my lap. <laughs> so that is it for this book haul. Those are all the things that I bought at the book sale. And you might be wondering how much was it? Well, I'm not really sure <laughs> because my mom and I paid for our books together, but they, uh, I would say it's probably like $50 for all of these items. Um, so I am super happy that I went and I'm excited to read all of these books. So yeah, that is it for my book haul. I love books, if you can tell, and I think that they're a great investment. Um, I want to recommend that you all find something that you enjoy reading. It can be anything, fiction, nonfiction, long, short, picture books, doesn't matter. Just go out there and get your hands on books. Thank you.